We gave the chickens a bunch of cheap suets, so we, uh, they seem pretty happy. The last bunch we gave them, they got through so fast. So we made sure to have a plenty for all of our numerous ladies. And I thought I only had two roosters, but that one that just came out has spurs on him. So I have two black and white ones, but this one kind of right there is a lot nicer. We call that one Silent Bob. The one in the back, he's been kind of mean, so he's on the list. Um, I thought I had four when I looked a couple days ago, and I'm having trouble finding the fourth one. I think that, no, that one doesn't have spurs on the back of it, that golden one. Doesn't have the spurs, so maybe that isn't a rooster. So maybe I have three. Um, otherwise, we want to get rid of that mean rooster back there. He always has one foot up, like he's, you know, trying not to alert me that he's there. Um, I really don't need that many roosters. I, I don't really need more than one, but Clyde and Silent Bob are, are pretty nice. And even with those two, I have 38, 39 ladies. But almost every single egg I'm getting is uh, fertilized, and it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> if they don't need that many, I'm happy to get eggs, and I know some, you know, you can still technically eat them. But if they sit on my counter for more than a day, then yeah, I don't need embryos uh, in my fridge. So I'm usually pretty good about getting them washed up and, and put away, but not every day do you feel good. We'll go over here and check out the ladies. Got our solar panels on the side. Not that I have a light attached to it just yet. It works for the fans in the summer. I got the door open already here. Hello, ladies. That big white one there with a the little bit of black is Weiss. She is always right there to greet me. And I think that that mean rooster is the one that's picking most of their feathers out because, like I said, he's mean. Hi, Clyde. Oh, nope, he's over there. And I just put a layer of hay underneath where they, they roost here, and they already got it all full of poop. So at least it's layered, so it'll be easier to get out of there. The ladies have been ignoring the nest boxes and laying in this corner over here. Yes, you. So at least they're all together, and I usually have a hen keeping them warm, so they're not all frozen. So weather can't decide whether it wants to be cold or warm lately. It's it's a pretty mild winter. I got some pretty cool looking ones here. Some of the little tufts of feathers on top of them. The tan one down there, right about there, is the one that keeps getting out. She's such a light thing, she can get out and kind of run around, and then she lays... Um, green eggs outside of the fence line. So I'm losing all of her eggs as well. Almost every single one of my colored egg layers ends up being fertilized eggs. So there's that too. You got wonky toes, miss. Yeah, you got wonky toes. You got a little bit of feather foot going on, kind of like the white one here. But they're, they're all pretty happy. Um, we got to put a little bit of an awning above that entry door there for them. Uh, the way the shipping containers are sitting, it's slightly tilted. So the rain comes right in through that door. So that's another project we're obviously not going to be welding in this 28 degree weather. That's just not going to work. Uh, plus, my hubby, my hubby's been working on a lot lately so we will hoping for some downtime to do that yes Clyde you're a pretty boy yes you're a very pretty boy you're letting everybody know it aren't you and I keep thinking this one's a rooster but I don't see any spurs on it I think it's just because it's a mutt hen. We have just we have really mixed genetics this year, and the ones from my sister are, are really docile and nice. 
not so much the ones I got from uh, from a friend over in Lake George, but those ones are pretty. I mean, Clyde is nice. He, he came from Lake George. And he, he is such a pretty rooster. Yes, you are. And he is a nice little sentinel. You're just investigating, aren't you? Because I'm standing here and I'm not giving you food. You guys have got half that container of oyster shell gone too, don't you? Well, okay, quit giving me the look. You want your food, don't you? You say, come on, human. Come on, human. Okay, I'm gonna feed him, but that's how our chickens are sitting. Oh, hi, Ruffles. This one closest to me here is uh, Ruffles. Normally she's got a bunch of feathers back here that are all ruffled up, but she follows me and walks in between my legs as well. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between her and the others until she starts doing that. And then you're like, oh, yep, that's Ruffles. Yes, because you're a pretty girl, aren't you? You're a pretty girl. You want treats, too. Now I'm not letting you out the door, silly girl. Okay, that is our, uh, our chickens right now.